Hey Master Gardeners, I'm visiting another one of our Master Gardeners here in Harford County because they have an infestation of scale. Scale? Yeah, well that's an insect that can get on your plants and it typically doesn't cause so much damage that you have dieback, but it is kind of an interesting looking thing because you can't even tell it's an insect. So come on, let's zoom in down here and take a look at some of these scale insects. So look at the back of the leaves of his viburnum. This is loaded with probably 25 female insects and you can't even tell which one's the female look over here on this one you can see there's one female on that one and I had one on the paper here somewhere there's a little brown one so she's the brown part and then these longer white running pieces are where she's laying eggs and thus the name the cottony portion and it's a cottony camellia scale or else a relative of it but the female is the dark part so she's laying eggs and releasing little baby crawlers who are going to crawl out and move up and down the vines and stems. So here's the winter population that we're here during the winter. Look at all the cotton that they're making. Lots of little insects on there. So let's look up at the shrub. And the question is, well, how do we control these? Well, when you look at the foliage on the plant, here's normal leaves on the viburnum. And if you look on the infested branches, they're much smaller. So look over it here. Here's a normal size leaf and here's an infected branch where you can really see a substantial change in the size of the branches or the size of the leaves. But I don't see a lot of branch die back on this. And the truth is this customers had these insects for years. They've just never noticed them before. So this year, for some reason, the population is high enough that they've discovered them on the bottom of their foliage. So when you have branches that are this infested, I would suggest that you prune it off and remove it. That's the best way. I mean, they are only moving inches their whole life. So once she becomes stationary, the female just stays there. So they're not moving a whole lot. So if you can just prune them off, you can get a super amount of control. The other situation that occurs is there's a lot of beneficial insects that are eating these. So just spraying them all summer long is not a good idea. You only spray it in timely fashion when you know the baby crawlers are coming out. We know that right now, scientists have noticed, entomologists, that the crawlers are emerging from cottony scale right now. So I'm recommending to the homeowner, if they choose to, they could spray right now. Other than that, it's much better to just wait during the winter months when the leaves have fallen off your deciduous shrubs because then those females have endured a hard winter and they're already a little stressed and you can spray with a heavier duty horticultural oil. So in the summer, you use a lightweight horticultural oil spray, and then in the winter, you use the heavier spray. Much more effective, and you're not hurting any of the beneficial insects. So since this plant's probably had this for years and they've never noticed, I say, eh, just wait until March to spray for this insect. The plant's as healthy as can be for the most part. So anyway, just a fun fact on scales. Hope you enjoyed this.